All right, so in the last one, we got our navigation kind of set up for changing the profile photo. So if we want to click on change profile photo and then select an image, uh, let's just choose one, sure. And we hit next. It'll then take us back to the account setting screen, which isn't right. We want it to navigate us back to the edit profile screen and then change the photo. Um, so that's what we're gonna basically work on in this one. We're gonna fix that navigation and also the, nav the back navigation is kind of incorrect too because right now if I hit the back button it takes me back to the gallery which is not what we want. So we're going to make a few changes regarding that stuff. Because basically what we want, we want to upload a new photo and then we want it to take us back to the edit profile screen and the back navigation should take us back to the profile like that. That's what it should do. And also too before I start I just want to kind of point out that I've changed the resolution of what I re record in, so it should be a little bigger for those of you who are using large monitors or maybe watching on a TV or something. It should be a little better. Uh, I don't personally like writing like this because if you take a look at the code, it's like very compact. I don't like it, but I've got a couple requests to record like this, so I'll give it a try and see how it goes. Anyway, so let's go into uh, Firebase Methods. And where are we? Firebase Methods and I'm gonna actually close the project pane just so I have a little bit more room and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of the upload new photo method and we're gonna go down into the if statement where it says profile photo so the case where we're uploading a new profile photo and then we're gonna scroll down and inside the on complete or on add on success listener for our upload task we're gonna add a method here for setting the view pager so if you recall from uh, when we just upload that photo when after we've uploaded the new photo what it does is it directs us actually to the account setting screen but we want it to direct us to the edit profile screen so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually set the view pager to direct us to this screen here so we'll reference the activity so account settings activity and then we use the context and dot uh, I'm going to go set view pager and you'll notice right here that it's not allowing me to set it and that reason is the view pager method is private currently so let's go ahead and change that to public let's go open our project pane again and we're going to go into account settings so open up profile and account settings activity and we'll close the profile pane again just to save space and the first thing I want to do is change this to public so we need to pay, set our pager adapter to public so we can access it from any other activity and then we're going to scroll down and look for the um, set view pager method right here and I'm going to set that also to public. There we go. Now let's go back into Firebase methods and I'm going to go, now I can set the view pager and now I want to set the view pager to the fragment number that I'm interested in. Actually inside of our pager adapter class I already have a method to retrieve the fragment number um, using the name of the fragment so I, that luckily I did that ahead of time so it makes it really easy to set the fragment number without actually knowing what fragment number it is. So once again we're going to go to context and then uh, reference the pager adapter and then we do get fragment number and we, as you can see here we can pass the fragment or the fragment name to retrieve the fragment number. So I'm going to pass the fragment name so context get string r dot string dot edit profile fragment and that's it. I think I've, there we go. So yeah, what this is going to do is it'll set the view pager to the fragment that we're interested in, which is the edit profile fragment. Cool. So that solves one of our problems. Now what we want to do is fix the back navigation. So the first part of that is going to be when we navigate from profile activity to share activity. That's what we're looking for. And so the navigation is from the edit profile fragment, which is where we click on the button to change the profile photo right here, change profile photo, and then it, that will navigate us to uh, share activity which then takes us to the gallery and so what we want to do is go get activity and just call finish on this and that way that will finish the activity and we won't be able to navigate back to it now one last thing to fix the back navigation is we need to do the, the exact same thing right here we get activity and finish inside the gallery fragment because we're we're doing the same thing we're coming from the gallery fragment and then going back into account settings activity so we need to end that activity we need to end the share activity so let's go into share and we'll go into gallery fragment and as you can see here's our um, our next screen on click listener so when we click that next button and we're not interested if it's the root task we're interested if it's coming from the edit profile screen so this case right here so here we just want to do the same thing get activity and then finish and then that's going to finish the activity and it will navigate us to where we want to go 
So let's test that because I know we jumped around a little bit and let's just make sure that everything's working the way we want to. Okay, so here's the app. Let's go to the profile and edit your profile and change the photo. So now the activity should be finished now that we've navigated to the gallery. So we can actually test that by hitting the back button and seeing what happens. And it takes us back to the profile activity. So that means account settings activity was successfully finished like we wanted it to, that's good. So let's click on edit profile again, go to change photo, and let's just choose a photo. I'm gonna go to Instagram, and there's my dog Kiba. And now when I click next, we expect it to finish share activity, and the view pager should get set to edit profile fragment and navigate us to edit profile fragment. So let's give that a try. And it, okay, it just took a second because uh, the in Firebase methods, uh, it takes a second for it to actually start uploading, and, and because we actually put it on the ad on success listener, it takes a second for this to be called. So it might actually be a better idea to cut this. So let's cut that whole method for setting the view page. I'm going to close the project pane here. Let's cut this method, and we can put it um, above. Let's just put it right when it gets called because. We don't really care if it's successful or if it fails. Either way, we still want to navigate back to the edit profile screen. So let's let's try that this time. We'll uh, run that and try that again. All right, to the profile, edit my profile, change my photo, and let's go to Instagram. Let's pick a photo, hit next. And we can see we're nav instantly navigated to the edit profile screen. Uh, photo gets uploaded, it changes, that's all perfect. Now we need to test the back navigation. So what we hope to happen here is it navigates us back to uh, the profile activity. So there we go, perfect. Everything looks like it's working the way we want it to. So I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next one, we're going to work on the photo section here. So opening the camera, taking a picture, retrieving that result, and then essentially doing the same thing, setting the profile photo. So I'll see you guys in the next video.